Taking a quick break from requests, here's a deck that nobody asked for. Back when I was doing all of the major archetypes of the base set era, I waffled a bit on whether or not to include this one, but here it is. Back then, people just called it Jinx Mime Radicate, which is not very catchy, so for the sake of this video, let's call it Medicate. Because it's Radicate and Meditate. Just from looking at these three cards, it should be pretty obvious what the strategy for this deck is. You're going to use Super Fang to deal damage to the opponent's Pokemon equal to half of their total HP. And then you're going to swap in and use Meditate for the guaranteed KO. The main draw of using this deck is that it is a Chansey Breaker. Any kind of stall deck that relies on Chansey will get destroyed by this one-two punch. And since the last few videos have been about very effective stall decks, I thought now would be a great opportunity to bring up Raticate and its ability to effectively hard counter those stall decks that rely on Pokemon like Chansey. One of the huge downfalls of this deck is that it has Rattata. Now, Rattata is actually a decent Haymaker card, especially back when it was just base set, because it can deal 20 damage for one energy. However, because it only has 30 HP and a fighting weakness, a lot of times if you end up starting with a Rattata, it's better to just sack it and take the loss because really this deck can't get going until at least turn two. So it's better to start with a Rattata on your bench and then evolve that one and just let go of the one that's your active. So full play sets of Rattata and Raticate. Raticate's going to be super easy to get that Super Fang off on turn two just because of double colorless energy. And you're going to be throwing down that Psychic energy onto it as well. And that same Psychic energy is going to be used to retreat it so that you can go into a Jinx or a Mr. Mime and deal the final blow with one of those cards. By itself, Raticate can't do all that much. If you really have to, you could Super Fang and then just bite your opponent until they're down. But because Raticate only has 60 HP, that's going to be very difficult to do. Mr. Mime and Jinx both have Meditate, but they need to be interchangeable in this deck depending on what kind of situations you find yourself in. They both have their strengths and weaknesses, like Jinx has a higher retreat cost and it costs one more energy to use Meditate, but the Meditate is dealing more damage since it's 20 plus, and Jinx is technically a, a big basic in this format. It has 70 HP, so it's going to last longer against other cards when Mr. Mime does have a lower retreat cost and meditate has a lower attack cost so early game it's going to be much better but also if its ability gets shut down by something like muck or later goop gas attack then it's going to be useless and you're going to have to rely on jinx so if you run into pokemon that can actually deal the 20 damage and knock out mr mime in two hits that's when you're going to go into your jinx and just sponge all that damage with its 70 hp however if you're up against something like rain dance that is only dealing massive damage that's when you're going to send in mr mime right after a super fang because it's going to be untouchable. And then, of course, all of the trainer's support. We're going to have three bills and two Professor Oaks just for draw power so that you can get all the cards you need in your hand. You can have a Mr. Mom and a Jinx on the bench. That way you can switch into whichever one is best for that situation. Energy removal, but just because it's base set era. Every deck ran for energy removal. It's a great disruption card. It's going to, you know, especially early game, put your opponent a little off. They're not going to be able to attack your Rattatas and Raticates as fast as they possibly could to knock them out, unless, of course, they've got something like Hitmonchan out, and then you're probably in trouble. But Gust of Wind is going to make sure that you can cycle through those Pokemon. One good strategy could actually be to Super Fang a Pokemon, and then if Eradicate isn't knocked out, Gust of Wind, and then Super Fang another Pokemon. That way you're actually setting up for those Jinx and Mr. Mime in the late game where they can just come out and sweep through all of your opponent's Pokemon at once if they all already have half of their HP with damage counters on them. Then we've got Lass in this deck as well. Uh, the plus power in the Switch should seem pretty obvious on what they're going to be doing, but Lass is a little bit iffy. It's going to make sure that those uh, energy removals on your opponent's side aren't getting rid of the double colorless suit so that you can get those super fangs off. It's a little bit risky because you are going to try to hold on to those plus powers a little bit. For if you find yourself in a situation where your eradicates are just getting knocked out before the super fang can get off and you're having to rely on Jinx and Mr. Mime to use those attacks. So 
you know, a meditate off of a Jinx that has 70 HP isn't that bad of an attack by itself, especially since a lot of the format is weak to Psychic, including its own type. So, you know, the plus power doesn't lend itself to the Super Fang meditate strategy. However, it does help you when you get in a bind and you run out of Raticates and no way to replenish them. Computer Search and Pokemon Trader are going to make sure you get the Raticates when you need them as fast as possible on turn two. Computer Search is also going to be really helpful in getting those double colorless energies out of your deck. Filling out the rest of the deck with Psychic Energy, of course. The trainer base for this deck is actually very fluid. The trainers are basically, you can alter them to your own play style and whatever you think you're going to be playing against because... The main point of this deck is just using Super Fang and then Meditate. You're going to medicate it up with this deck. And while this deck is a great stall breaker, it has a lot of weaknesses. The biggest of which probably being Gust of Wind, where if you have a Mr. Mime or a Jinx out, your opponent can just pull out Eradicate and probably one-shot it because of that fighting weakness. And, you know, 60 HP isn't all that great for Stage 1 especially. Another being basically any deck that can get off a huge attack on Turn 1 or 2. Looking at things like Haymaker or Rain Dance, which you can figure out ways around those, and Raticate is just as effective on all of those. The combo works on any Pokemon card, but this deck is styled around huge Pokemon like Chansey and not actually quick attackers like Hitmonchan or Magmar. In playtesting this deck, I found that some of the biggest challenges were with Wigglytuff. You would end up trading a lot of losses with Wigglytuff, so basically for every Super Fang you got off on one, you would be losing a Jinx and probably Eradicate as well, so they would be taking prizes a lot faster than you, even though it did work pretty effectively on Wigglytuff, mostly when you could get the energy removals off early to get the double colorless off of Wigglytuff, but... Wigglytuff also uses Super Potion, which completely messes up the Medicate strategy. The same is true for most stall decks as well. They will use Potion and Super Potion. Even decks like Arcanine will run a Potion or two. And that kind of messes up completely what Meditate is doing. Now, because Jinx does 20 plus, even off of a Potion, or if your opponent has a Defender, you can still get around that and get that, you know, one, two punch knockout. However, it's not going to work all the time, and once you lose that momentum, you pretty much lose the game with this deck. And when this deck does win, it's usually zero prizes to one, meaning that you really just have to keep your opponent from taking all six prizes before you do, which sounds like common sense, but when you're losing Pokemon like Mimes and Raticates back and forth, you really just have to find ways to only let your opponent take five prizes. And that's the way it's going to be most of the time. Mr. Mime was such a popular card in the format that people always had ways to deal with it in every deck that was in the metagame. But it was nice to finally give some spotlight to Jinx, who was one of the underused big basics of the base set format. Hitmonlee and Tangela can just go fuck themselves because they're not good in any deck. I have a lot of request decks coming up in the coming weeks, so in the meantime, just give me those comments and let me know what else you want to see on the channel. Thanks as always for watching, and until next time, bye!